What's up, everybody? This is Eric, the Tech Preacher. So I have the LG Velvet. I have the LG V60. I have the LG Wing. All three of these devices is 2020 devices. This requested video that I'm doing right here, somebody wanted me to test the audio on all three of these devices. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna show you guys a 4K video uh, so we can check out the displays on all these devices. This is gonna be an interesting one because you got the LG V60, you can get this device relatively cheap. I mean, 700, 800 bucks. Uh, if you get the dual display, kind of go up a little bit. You get the LG Velvet, $599, $699 respectively. Uh, the LG Wing is the one that's the $1,000 phone. So how is the audio compared to the V60, which is the flagship, compared to the two mid-rangers and the innovative phone? Let's find out. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's go to do the audio test between uh, all three of these devices. In order for me to do this, I have my boom mic sitting right here. So let me put my boom mic right here, right in the center here. Uh, so we could be even Steven with all devices. Let's go on to get some disclaimers out the way. Um, the flagship device does some things that the other devices don't do. So let's go into the music settings. I want y'all guys to see this. So in the sound quality and effects, you have, uh, when you click on uh, the LG uh, 3D sound engine, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, you have your quad deck information here with external audio on the quad deck on the LG V60. Uh, and you do have the, uh, the LG 3D uh, sound engine. Now on the LG Velvet, you don't have the external quad deck information that you can do. Unfortunately, this device does not have that. And the LG Wing, unfortunately, does not have LG 3D sound engine at all and no quad information, no quad deck or anything like that because this device does not have a headphone jack. All right, so the song choice that I'm gonna make in this video uh, is by chosenbeat.club. It's my man, Dan Tanner. I want y'all guys to see this. So uh, chosenbeats.club right here. Click on the, uh, the link down in the description below and you have uh, all that good beats that I be playing here on this YouTube channel. So check it out. The music I'm about to play uh, is from chosenbeats.club. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put the volume all the way up on the, the LG Velvet and let's play the song. Do speakers on deck, do speakers on deck. Okay, so that is the LG Velvet, which sounds really good, by the way. That's how I got that heat, let's go. Do speakers on deck. Okay, so between the LG Velvet and the LG V60, I would say that the LG V60 sound better. The highest mid and bass sound better. You got dual speakers on both, but uh, when it comes down to the sound quality, the LG V60 is king. All right, LG Wing. That's how I got that heat, let's go. No do speakers on here. No do speakers. All 
Okay, so the LG Wing is the weaker one out of both of these devices. Uh, it does not have a quad deck. It does not have a headphone jack, and it only have a single bottom bottom firing speaker. So uh, I will tell you that the LG V60 comes first, the LG Velvet comes second, and the LG Wing comes last place. All right, so that's the audio portion of this video. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, let y'all guys look at the displays on all three devices. All right, before I play the video, I'm in settings and I wanna make sure that all three dis displays are pretty much even Steven. So I'm gonna go vivid mode here on the LG Wing. Uh, photos, it does not have a vivid mode on the, the LG V60, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm gonna go vivid mode on uh, the LG Velvet. All right, so vivid mode, vivid mode, photos. And the reason why I put on photos because I wanna get that good punchy color. Also vivid mode, also give me good punchy colors. All right, so I got the video ready to go. And one thing that I wanna give a disclaimer out there, I adjust the brightness accordingly. So what I did was I tried to measure up the displays to have a more accurate uh, representation when it comes down to the brightness. So one wouldn't be no brighter than the other one. I got as close as I can. As you can see, it's really close. So, so you do have one device that's a little brighter than the other device so I can get be even Steven. So I use this as a reference point, just so you know. But before I start the video, all three of them look really good. So let's go here and boom. Okay, so I'm probably gonna be about a half second off on every device, which is fine, but you get to see uh, how beautiful these displays is. Even though they're 1080p, um, I think that all three of them is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so here it is uh, in its true representation, all three devices. Um, one of the things that I do wanna express is that uh, for some strange reason, LG has really good displays here. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you, the LG Velvet looks a little on the dimmer side and I try to get them as quick, as even as I can. So I'm gonna take the LG Velvet and I'm gonna go up just a little bit on that so we can get it nice and even Steven. There it is. So I try to use the beginning of the video as a entry point on the brightness. If I take, if I took every device and put it halfway, you're gonna have an unbalanced display because all the brightness is different. The calibrations are different on all devices. So I had to use the, the line of sight, use my eyes uh, to try to get the brightness with all devices, uh, pretty much even Steven. But as you can see, the displays on here is absolutely gorgeous. I really don't see a clear winner here. Uh, now look like uh, the LG Velvet is kind of going in and out as far as brightness. See that? Let me make sure I do not have auto brightness on. Okay, just so you know, I do not have auto brightness on, uh, but it is flickering by itself. Uh, so that's maybe something that uh, the LG Velvet does, especially I, I got all the lights off, so it's pretty much dark. Uh, but I, I can tell you that viewing content on any one of these devices is absolutely great. All right, so let me give you my final thoughts uh, about the LG Velvet, the LG Wing, and the LG V60. Now, we all know that LG is going through some issues in the mobile department. We all know that it's a possibility that LG might be selling off their mobile department to uh, a third-party third company. Uh, I know a lot of people is on the fence right now whether or not you should keep your LG device, whether or not you should sell it. Right now, we haven't heard anything about any new devices coming out for the LG platform. We heard that the LG Rollable may not be coming out and the LG V70, I don't know. All this stuff is up in the air. But as far as the audio on all three of these devices, let me give you my thoughts about it. The LG V60 is, has the best audio plus the quad DAC and the headphone jack to match. If you want to get the best audio, the LG V60 with the dual speaker setup is the best way to go. Now the LG Velvet come in second place. It has a headphone jack, but I didn't see any quad deck information in the, on the LG Velvet. So uh, just so you know, uh, the LG Velvet does have dual speakers. 
Uh, but it, when it, when you get into the settings of a quad deck setup, uh, you don't see no information about the quad deck setup here on the LG Velvet. Now the LG Wing, it has a single single uh, firing bottom speaker. Uh, it was the lowest one, the most tinniest one, lack of bass, lack of mids and highs. So this one, uh, the LG Wing is the worst out of all three and it costs the most. It doesn't have a headphone jack. It doesn't have quad decks. So just so you know, if you get the LG wing, you're paying for the innovation of the wing part, the cameras and a whole lot of other stuff. All right, let's talk about the displays. All these, all three of these displays is absolutely gorgeous. I really like all three of the displays. Uh, it, it, it's a true representation on how good LG displays are. The displays on here is really good. Now it does not have a 90 hertz display or it does not have a 120 hertz display, but the price point on the LG V60 and the LG Velvet is pretty cheap, especially in the used market. Now the price point on the LG uh, Wing is still on a pricier side. So if you can find it in the used market, it's still a good innovative device. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about these devices in action. See you guys on the next video. Peace.